Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And tonight we are going to be playing. Where's my sign? There it is. <laughs> Yay! Atari 2600 Woo. games. There we go. And tonight we have a world exclusive premiere Ooh. of Flip It's from Red Button Games. <gasps> so we, we're going to get to listen to the jingle again? The little jingle again? Yes, we are. Yay! And we're also going to be playing uh, Castle of Devils. <clears throat> Uh, and also an exclusive update to mm -hmm. Jutland Skies, which we played uh, a few weeks ago, and it's very, very, very early stages. Okay, cool so though. So this has a lot more added in. Nice. And for the fourth game, we're going to be playing Duello, uh, another new game. Um, and I want to thank the Twitch subscribers scrolling down, down the, the below. side. It's down low now here. Yeah, it's, right it's kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of low. Red yeah. button. Yes, red button is. <laughs> uh, no, Leonardo Santiago made this game. Mm. Um, but yeah, same same publisher as Keijo Keho. Yeah. The, the mouse chases the, the cheese. Chases the, Keho chases the cheese. That's the one. It's yeah. good. By Leonardo Santiago. Nice. Uh, Twitch subscribers, the cardboard box, Alan the Fur, Andrew Atari, Atari 800 XL, Rules Atari 74, Atari, Beep Supreme, BR Poker, Buffalo Pinball, Chest on the Mel, Charles Will and Chitla, Colonel Lama, Cubanismo, Sierra Reboot, uh, Dan FC, Drexel, Duck, Moo Cows, Gamma Dev, Glenn Main, Great Defender, John WC, Carl G. Caraco, 2600, Developer, Lambda Express, Mark Yannis, Mark Spacing, Metal Atari, McMuse, Mike Soul, Mike Latow, Misk Man, MK Smith, Mr. Sun, Rest of Fix, Mighty Fonts, Neil Mina, Nostalgia, Pack, Rack, Coog, 2600, Rendered Ghost, Apprentice, Fiji, Renov, and Thule, Ricardo. Of him, Rodcaster, Six Sweets, Smitty B, Spiceware, Spin Lease, S. Ramirez, Testin Rock, and Tiki Dan K, Track MD, Vexor X, Vintage Game Memories, Vic Toco, VG Double Down, X Ken X. And if you'd like to support the show, you can hit subscribe and get your name right out. Yes, and Leonardo is in the chat. Oh, so. hey, hey, Leonardo, welcome. So if you have any questions about his game, direct them to him. <laughs> I do have some information though. Okay. Uh, we don't have a poll question today, but we do have a coaster giveaway that we can do. Oh, really? Oh. Because it's a new month. We got a couple we left gave one, still. Gave away one in October. Okay. Now you're going to have to make some more. Yeah, I've been so well, we have two of making them. Christmas stuff, so I should Ooh, make a few Oh, that star is like right on the surface. Yeah, oh. that one is. Yeah. So we have two to give away, but that'll be at the end of the news. Lovely. So first up on the news, um, I uh, got, I made an adapter for the Sega Light Phaser that I write, have right here for Atari systems. Mm. So I made it myself with a bunch of wires, uh, two nine pin ends, a male and a female, uh, one resistor and mm -hmm. one transistor. And, oh no, commercials, how do I make them stop? You subscribe. <laughs> That's how you make them stop. Um, so let me show you what it looks like. It's really, if you know how to, um, if you know how to solder, even the most basic amount, you can make them yourself. There you go, that's what it looks like. Just a bunch of wires, resistor and a transistor. Um, and you just wire them up to the right things. And I'll show you the um, schematics here to do it. And it's much, the combination is much cheaper than buying an Atari light gun. Mm -hmm. um, because those can go for quite a bit, but the light, um, the light phasers are a lot cheaper. Like I got two of them at Portland Retro Gaming Expo for like $20 each. And the Atari light guns yes. are like 60. Yeah, 20 to I mean, I got 30 a, I got a really there? good deal. Yeah, so, you did. Yeah, so. yeah, we got a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got a lot of stuff. Yeah, um, well, but a yes, lot of guns. <laughs> a lot of guns. A whole lot of guns. Mm -hmm. There you go, light phaser to Atari XG1 adapter. Nice. Um, and if you go down the page, I guess they don't allow scrolling on this page. There we go. There's the schematics. It shows the wires that go to the Sega yes. gun. Sega side, where the gun plugs in. Mm -hmm. um, that's the male side. And this is the Atari side. You can see it up here. Uh, DE9F. Mm -hmm. And that goes into your Atari. I don't yep. know why they show the light gun there. Um, <laughs> Just to confuse There is no you. light gun. No. There's a light phaser. 
Um, and so there's the resistor. There is the... Um, is that a switch or something? I can't remember. No, it is the... Oh, my God. <laughs> transistor. Transistor. There we go. And there's the wiring. You just need a couple yeah. wires. Um, yeah, it's pretty simple. And it gives the numbers of which pin to solder it to. Okay. I have some screw downs on this. Nice. So it was much easier to screw it down, but yeah. it makes it very big and wide. Yeah. I'll probably buy some really thin ones that you do have to solder. Yeah. So that I can just but it works. shrink wrap right? it. Right? That's Yeah, that's it works. Yep. And I did test it out. Was it crossing the board easy with all these guns? Yeah. Well, light guns, not too bad. I think the cord helps. Yeah, the old school and <laughs> It's saying Sega on the side. Yeah. <laughs> I think they probably... No, they didn't even look at it. No. Uh, they knew we went to a retro gaming convention. Like, no. where did you go? Yes. Um, so you can make this yourself quite easy, quite easily. There's somebody who actually used just the bare pins. Gotcha. And soldered them. Nice. Quick and dirty light gun adapter. Yeah. <laughs> Calling them phaser helps, yes. Certainly helps, yes. And I tested it out, and it works. Yay! Hooray! So we are now all set, or we will be set... For the four light gun game. For the game. four light gun ducks away game. Wow. Uh, it's going to be a flashy mess. Yes. 2010, 133 megahertz. That's the Chilean guy. Oh. oh. Where is it then? Oh, did you see it at the top? Oh, where did you see it? Oh, at the top. Yeah, 133. Yep, that's the person. Uh, yeah, very old website. Yeah. But it doesn't go out of date, really. <laughs> um, so the next news story, uh, something I also made. Um, so with the sub at AVG cart okay. um, that I bought for the Atari 8-bit system 8 that extends okay. a lot of functionality to an Atari 8-bit, it un not only gives you extra memory uh, that you don't have to install in your Atari system, it also gives the option of stereo out. Um, but And before you had to modify the insides, this is an external stereo out. and But it outputs through headphone jack, right? Mm. And how I output video from my Atari 8-bit is through SCART, uh, VBXE to SCART adapter. Okay. And then it goes into my RetroTink. Okay. 5X. And so there's no way to plug in audio um, with SCART, with the RetroTink. It doesn't oh, I see. have a setting to use alternate audio input. It so takes it from the SCART. From the SCART directly. Okay. <clears throat> and there's two pins on the SCART. There's a left and a right pin. Yeah. Um, so what I did is I bought this. And I'll do a close-up on this. You can see it because it's kind of a bit small. So you can see there, uh, there's SCART in, and there you go, and SCART out on the other side. But also, there's left and right audio RCA jacks there. Um, so what I did is I plugged in the left and right audio jacks into it, and I listened to it, and the problem was, there was still the original audio going over the left and right mono dual mono mm -hmm. and then there's the stereo on top of the dual mono so it's two audio streams they're exactly the same audio streams mm -hmm. so you get a kind of reduced stereo effect so what i did was actually pulled the pins out removed the pins from the input of the left and the right so all that's left is the stereo in Oh, so it will only the take the stereo in. Yeah, so this is effectively ruined. It's, it's, <laughs> they're very cheap. Yeah. So I, I labeled it so I know that I have removed ruined. them. Ruined, yeah. Because it's, I mean, you can see it, but if you're not looking for it, it's like, where's the audio? It's broken. Yeah. So I, I labeled it. Nice. I do have another one, just in case. Yeah. Um, backup, backup, always good. Yeah. But it works perfectly. Good. It's great. So anybody who has a SCART output from their Atari 8-bit mm. uh, and want to eject the new sub-average -av car cart into this, the stereo out, That's the there's a solution. It's cool. very cheap, too. <laughs> um, next news item, uh, the game Casey's Gold. Let me just get rid of Ooh. that <laughs> and then switch over, which is always a good thing. Oh, my God. Get out of here. Get 
Get get out of here. Silly notification. There we go. Casey's Gold <laughs> has uh, is now in pre-beta phase. Mm. Um, and this was uh, confirmed by Dan Kitchen. Uh, he confirmed his game Casey's Gold is now pre-beta phase and in the hands of a beta tester. I personally cannot confirm or deny that I am a beta tester of the game, like I was for Circus Convoy, but I'm looking forward to having the exclusive world premiere of this awesome game. Very nice. On ZPH, no projected uh, release date has been given, and like uh, Gary said at his talk at PRG, those are online now, Yeah. Uh, Audacity's games uh, are released when they're done. Nice. They don't give release dates just they're um, just gonna release them when they can so this was originally posted by filippo santeloco um and then it was picked up by scott dayton nice. for atari 2600 homebrew games facebook group and somebody says source and dan dan kitchen answers dan kitchen <laughs> <That's the source. laughs> so i thought that was really good job funny. dan kitchen <laughs> yeah so he confirmed his own his uh, home game his own leak nice. I, I can't like, it wasn't sourced where Filippo got the information. Oh. It, it may, I don't know where he revealed it, but yeah. I couldn't find that. But somewhere, somewhere Dan posted about it. Nice. And it was picked up. So, yep, that's uh, very exciting news. Very nice. Oh, Phil San at Atari Age. Oh, so it's on the, or is that the person? That's the person. Filippo is Phil San. Yep. Okay. Still doesn't, still have no idea. Evil James returned to powerful power. <laughs> Is it almost? It's almost there. I would give it another week and a half. It's yeah. about two and a half weeks now. Yeah. And um, I, I it's was like the asking, power meter is slowly do, do, building do, do, back do, up. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, I, I would say four weeks would be the full. The full beard. Full evil power. <laughs> he was good, James, for just a very short very period of time. Fraction of time. <laughs> Uh, the next news story, uh, Lynx Jam 2023 has been announced. They do this at the end of every year. It is a programming contest for the Atari Lynx. Nice. Um, mm. Hosted by somebody. Uh, K Retro Gaming. Nice. Um, and also by Yestuna Games and, and Argon. Argon. Very nice. So uh, it was posted in the Atari forums. Hi, all. It's that time of year again. You're invited to participate in Lynx Jam 2023. We're mixing it up a bit uh, again and has been a popular request in the past. We're going to provide you with a tile set to use. The jam starts on the 27th of November. So in two weeks and will end at the 17th of December. Please check the jam page for more information. Here's the jam page. Uh, theme. This year's motto is same but different. What does it mean? Everyone will be provided the same tile set that must be used to create your game. Mm. So they're giving you the graphics to make the game. Oh, I see. And then you have to make a game. Then you have to make the game. Everyone makes a game with the same tile set. Same tile set. But uh. try and and they said, uh, apart from that, there's no restriction on genres or type of game you want to make. Uh, it did say somewhere, try and make... Oh, it's highly discouraged to create the type of game that the tile set is aimed for at first glance. Mm -hmm. Think outside the box and apply these graphics in a novel way. So if you look at the tile set and go, oh, that's a platformer, that's a shooter. Don't do that. <laughs> do something else. And you might get uh, more uh, Gary Oldman of Fifth Element. Yeah. I've been wanting to do that as, as like a, a Halloween. Halloween costume. That's a good one. Actually. But I look at the outfit and it's like, oh, that's a lot of work. <laughs> Very it's shiny. Very outfit. elaborate. He's got a piece of molded plastic yeah. that goes underneath the hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, and around the head. It's right? so cool. And I'm like, I have no idea how I would mold thin plastic to fit my well, head that you could, perfectly. You could do it, but I think actually you could just wear gray and have that and people would know exactly who you're who you're emulating. Yeah. Because that his, plastic piece is and so And his hair is black. Uh, yeah. So I would have to do that. Yeah, yeah. we just spray, spray it. I with could something. do it. Yeah. It'd be Chris Tucker. Yeah. Now that's elaborate. Yeah. <laughs> that's way more elaborate. Yeah. Um, uh, what was I going to say? The uh, Did Gary Oldman have facial hair? I can't remember. Did he have. I think he had like a little black V. Yes, I think you're right. Chin. I think he did on his chin. I think that's chin. all he Not had. a beard, though, but just I'd on have his to shave chin. shave again. 
it's yeah, oof, you would worth it for that though. Yeah, <laughs> soul patch. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. I think there was a soul patch. Yeah. Um, so if you are a programmer for Lynx, uh, jump right into that and uh, come up with some great That's games. That's very cool. With, yeah. the, with the same tile set. That's same really interesting. Set. That is very interesting. Yeah. I, I remember doing uh, a couple of film uh, competitions where they would give you objects and you'd have to include the objects in your film, short mm. film. And they would, they would give you like, and also a mystery object that would be different for each person, I think. Mm. But they'd be like, oh, you have to have a balloon in your in your story and use this phrase so that's very very similar to that kind of thing uh now it's time to give away the coaster wake up I, uh, I'm, I'm awake <laughs> drifting off i was thinking but yeah, yeah not just dr not drifting off not yet so we have two coasters <laughs> the winner can pick which coaster they want oh, okay good good um, there's so we'll two show them after. on offer actually we'll show them right now so people can okay. figure out which one they want yeah what do we got we so have... if you won before you can't win again nostalgic <laughs> um, we have this blue rainbow. Let me tilt it. Tilt it so you can see the rainbow. rainbow with the beautiful Pac Man glitter. Yeah. Are you sure we haven't given one of those away? No, we've given away two so far, right? Uh, one on the show. One on the show? And then a bunch at PRG. And then there's the gold zero page. Yes, which has some star glitter and gold zero page and kind of a rainbow background. Yeah. Now you're just reflecting the TV. There we go. It's hard to. Get it is. It is hard to hit. Delay get too. the light. Get the light hitting it properly. Yeah. So there's yeah. two. So pick your two. favorite right now. Uh, <laughs> it is going to be a cat based contest. Yeah. <laughs> How did you guess? <laughs> um, that is so funny. <laughs> So, come here, Atari. So, it's Atari's birthday tomorrow. Yes. So, the first person to guess how old he is, don't you only get one guess, or maybe not. Just one guess, one, one guess. One guess, and then we can start over if nobody guesses. Yeah. First person to guess the age of Atari tomorrow. Yes. Vitoko got Vitoko, it. Vitoko, yay! <laughs> yeah. Wow, that was fast. That was super fast. Everyone's really close. 14. Yeah, 14. <laughs> Looking good for 14, yeah. Atari. Yeah. No, eight. He's eight. He He's is eight. eight. Vitoko got it right, right off the bat. Instantaneously. He's been preparing. <laughs> yeah. So I'll <laughs> reach out coaster. to you, uh, Vitoko, <laughs> to get you one of these. Um, and you can pick which one. Which one do you want, yeah. Vitoko? Do you want the gold lettering or the rainbow lettering? Yeah. Thank you, RC70. Yeah, RC70. Thank Ricardo you. And Pim. Ricardo Pym. Yeah. Uh, so rainbow, go rainbow with Pac-Man uh, glitter inside or... Gold and gold stars. Gold and gold stars Yeah, inside. you can bring it up close again if he wants yeah, to have a I'll closer look. I'll put both look. of them up. Okay. At the same time. Yeah. Exciting. Hype train. Woo. Wow. Very fancy. Or level one. Level, Level one? one, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Depends on the color scheme on your desk. Yeah, so you pick which gold one. Gold one, Vitoko says. Gold one. Finally, okay. I'll get a coaster, the gold one. Excellent. I'm going to write this down right now. Okay. Vitoko, gold. I'll stick it right on there. Yep. Let me see. Hold on. Vitoko, gold. That's quite nice. It's very three-dimensional in the background. Good choice. Yep. Yeah. Very, very nice. Yeah, it's got a lot of depth to it. Yeah, which which so, turned out really nice. Put this aside. Fotogo, you finally got a coaster. <laughs> Hooray! Yeah. yeah, and you've got to make some more because we only have one extra yeah, one now. Yeah, I've been, I've been making a lot of Christmas decorations, so there might yes. be a zero-page Christmas decoration in there Ooh. somewhere. Maybe to give away when we have our Christmas special. I don't know. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Because that'll be next month. Yeah. We'll do it then. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So in the eighth year of Atari, they released Adventure. Oh, happy birthday tomorrow! Yeah, happy birthday, Atari! Happy birthday, Atari. Atari! Officially, eight is senior for a cat, which doesn't seem quite right. He feels very spry, so I don't, I don't yeah. know if I agree feels with that. Feels like an adult in his prime. Yeah. Yeah. Also, doesn't put Except up with any asthma. crap, so no, you know. <laughs> no crap so at all. So I empathize. Come here, come yeah. here. <laughs> so. Um, the first game we're going to be playing today, out of the four... Now he's a pensioner. 
That's and right. He goes out and buys a boat. Uh, oh, you're gonna Atari. buy a boat, Atari. You're gonna get look your, at his ears. He's like, you're gonna uh, get convertible. Why are you saying my name? Convertible car. Yep, convertible car. And buying a boat. You see him with the the fancy sunglasses, <laughs> little gray paw at the steering oh, wheel. Oh, poor says. Toonsis. I forgot about Toonsis. <laughs> um, it's so, an old reference. <laughs> it's an old reference, but it checks out. Uh, um, so the first game we're going to be playing is an exclusive world premiere. It is Flip It's by Red Button Games slash Leonardo Santiago. Yeah, meow. <laughs> yeah, meow. meow. Exciting. Okay, so let's start it up. Yeah. This cat is Sorry. hungry. Hungry for treats. Please. Hungry for treats. Yeah. Okay. So go down to today's date, November 14th. Like, How what is time today's flies. Date? Oh my goodness. Flip it. Ooh. Very nice intro logo. Not sure what 230003 mm. means. It's probably like a, I don't know what it is. Flip it. It says, find me. Oh. Um, ooh, I think, oh, this is a two player game. So oh. I'm going to have to, not have to, but I'm going to plug in the second joystick. Why is it wrapped around? I blame you. <laughs> we'll play for a uh, single player at first. So I'll just leave that aside. Okay. So you can play and I can explain. And figure out how to plug that Is the in. Flip It logo supposed to be a flip-off? Oh, I don't know. It can be. <laughs> yeah, it, so he sent me some information. I've been working on developing my programming skills and which ETH, with each new milestone, I strive to apply what I've learned to create a new game. Um, so uh, Leonardo Santiago has made uh, Cajo Chases the Cheese, Razor's Edge, mm -hmm. Egypt, Egypt Quest, and now Flip It. Uh, this time it was no different. My challenge was to create a one-line kernel with beautiful graphics for a simple and fun game under 4K. So this is a 4K uh, game. I'm not sure if I achieved what I aimed for, but at least the game is ready. I, uh, I present to you Flip It's. In a distant land concealed within the mystical forests of the north, there exists a magical place known as the Mushroom Grove. Uh, in this enchanted realm dwell the adorable Flip It's. As small green beings who serve as the guardians of the forest secrets. One day, the Flippets decided to create an intriguing game to test their skills against each other. The game involved special formation where all the Flippets stood aligned, except for one who turned away from the others. Uh -huh. This small challenge became a fun, fun tradition amongst the Flippets known as Find Me. Uh -huh. The player takes on the role of, the, of a fearless Flippet explorer embarking on an excited journey to locate the Flippet who chose to turn their back to the group. Do you have the dexterity and the keen insight to find the intrepid Flippet? Uh, the Mushroom Grove awaits you, filled with mysteries and unparalleled fun. The idea of the game is to find the Flippet that is turned away from the others in a grid of 36 of them. Okay. To do this, the player needs to move the cursor below the Flippet and press the red button. Yep, those are red. Go for it. In the first player, the f player needs to find eight Flippets sequentially within a time total of 60 seconds. Uh, which is relatively easy. In the second level, the Flippets start blinking increasing the difficulty. In the third level, the mischievous Flippet changes positions. So be careful not to make a mistake. Besides losing five points, you'll also lose three seconds from the clock. In the fourth level, they are not only change positions, but also blink. After that comes a bonus level and everything repeats, but two more Flippets to be found. 28 seconds left. One more to go. Scoring. If you find a Flippet, it's 10 points. Uh, wrong selection is minus five and minus three seconds on the clock. <laughs> At the end of each level, the remaining time is converted into points. In the bonus level, two identical flippets, 20 points, three identical flippets, 90 points. There are 32 levels to reach the end, but the player can continue playing by pressing the select switch on the winner screen. So the sky's the limit. There's also a two player mode where the player who finds 99 flippets wins. The game is in the final debugging stages, and we hope to release it later this year or perhaps early 2024. Have fun. So remember uh, this. Yeah, they've changed color. <laughs> so I guess. Um, no, it shouldn't be a PAL game. I guess he needs to change the instruction to match the color of the 
of the guys. Um, yep, all the settings are correct. So remember, this is a 4K game. It's got a title screen. It's got interstitials with text on the screen. Um, it's got a little music. Um, and uh, it's got nice graphic design. It's uh, a f its own oh, font. Bottom, down, down. Oh, it's gone now. Top, right. There you go. Cat Ballerina. I love when I catch this live. I usually watch it on YouTube. Well, welcome. Yeah. <laughs> welcome from YouTube. Glad you could catch us uh, live today. I heard David Crash got to level 50 on this game before building his compound. <laughs> Good accomplishment. Ah. Didn't know it was released that early. Oh, so they're... Oh, that makes it a lot harder. Because they're flashing and moving. Three more to go. Ah, uh, brain. Right to right, right over two. There, got it. Sometimes you see them change. By the thirty-second level, seizures. Ah! Yeah, too slow. Ah, brain, brain. Two more oh. to go. There, no, up there. He's back there. <sighs> One more. Nineteen seconds. Ooh. Ooh. Where's Waldo? Ooh. Oh, oh, cute. Oh my God. It's a bonus level. It's not random. Oh. oh! It's like the Mario game. Too late. There was a great video on that. The oh, Mario how matching random game. it is? Yeah. It is impossible to get right because of the delay. Or it's impossible to visually get it right because of the delay in when you press the button and the random it's amount of time after you press the button. I feel like these are pregnant well, flippets. I don't know why. Pregnant slugs. <laughs> could be. Could be pregnant flippets. Maybe that's just their body shape. Five more to go. Oof, 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 oof. Don't bite. Oh, oh, so insistent. Come up here. You need to calm down. Birthday cat. Come on. Come on, birthday cat. Oh, he's just staring me down. Eight seconds. One more to go. Close now. Oh, Level it's... six. RC78 says, oh, it is just one. This is a cool game. Yeah, it is just one. And there's different graphics for each level. Are they all different? Each level? Uh, so far. Wow. Oh, God. That is, it is quite an accomplishment for a 4K game. To have this many different graphics. Maybe mixes and matches the heads and the bodies. To save on space. Maybe. That could be. You have to check out the... Um... I'm not doing really good this round. I don't know. There's a lot No slug get. shaming, Kev says. Uh, Capital Arena says, This is a really smart game concept. I yeah. tried for years, but never managed to think of a unique game idea that works within the system limits of this system. Yeah, if you're going for a 4K game, you have to be really, really creative to be able to come up with something that is top left. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> there you go. Um, that is fun, visually appealing, has good sound, has replayability. Um, it's, it's a lot to pack into 4K. And you look at some of the early 2600 games that uh, were limited to 4K. It's, there's some really creative ones, and if you look at some of like the the nominees in the Atari Homebrew Awards, there's some really, really great games. I know Thomas mm -hmm. Yench strives to make really great small games. Yes. He usually puts one out every year. Uh, Nostalgic says, I wonder if the flip it facing the opposite direction is done by reflecting the sprite just at the right time along the scan line, then return to the non-reflected a few cycles later. A hundred percent. That would be the... Ah. Oh, you just messed it. Left, 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 left there. That would be the easiest and uh, most cost-efficient way of being able to do it because it's just one bit flip, if I believe. Yeah. Toddler slugs. Yeah, they do ah, look like toddler slugs. Ah, too late. Oh, no. That is a big penalty. Lose five seconds. Oh, I'm dead then. <laughs> oh, one more to go. Uh, where is it? Up two. No, you went three. <laughs> You have to see it. <laughs> uh, mine, oh, minus three seconds. 
Oh, you didn't even try. <laughs> Whew. Okay. Oh. Proselytizing. Flip it. <laughs> Why do they have a big T around their neck? A T. <laughs> T for ten. T for ten. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if in the higher levels they get more and more subtle. Or they they, they fl flip more quickly? Because these guys, their heads flip back and forth. So it's really where the cross is that is the, the, cr well, the giveaway. I on this find one. with every every design of Flip It, yeah. there is something that you can mentally glean onto to help you figure out which one is different. Mm. Okay. I, I, I'm. Getting a little bit weary eyed. I <laughs> need a break. You have to get to them before they change, too. That's really the challenge. Oh, they're flashing colors now, too. To the right. It's funny. I find sometimes your brain sees them very quickly, and other times it's like, ah! You also can see them change, which which helps sometimes oh, too. Oh yes, if you're looking off to the side, looking you at the see, whole whoop, thing, it flips, and you're like, so, "Oh, it's that one." Yeah, as soon as you press the button. <laughs> a Twitch feature to let chat point at the screen would be a great feature. Uh, yeah, yeah, it uh, <laughs> definitely would. I don't know how that would work, but. Uh, yeah, Cat Ball Arena. It's kind of cheating, but watching them change by staring at the center of the screen seems to help. Yes, if it you does. kind of let your 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 field of vision almost widen, you can kind of see one change. But it also kind of throws you off if you do that for too that long. That one was the exact same one I started on. That was crazy. It doesn't exclude the one that you just had. That you just had. So I I was looking everywhere Elsewhere. else. Yeah. I want the bonus level. You could, would see an overlay with a heat map of points. <laughs> that would be cool. I don't know how you'd inject that video on top. Right. Oh my god, he switched. Got a black fluffy cat. Oh, he's switching so fast. I know. Well, you're at a high level now. Ah! ah Left ah. there. I don't think the timer stops. So when you press it, it doesn't interrupt the timer. No. So sometimes it flips immediately after you press it. Hi. Ah. It's hard. Uh. <laughs> Good luck on that mm -hmm. bonus part. If you defocus like you're looking at one of those magic eye images, the odd man out really sticks. It's true. Ooh. But also... It's a big mess. It doubles them. Yeah, it may give you a headache after a while if you do that. So. Yes. Which is why I needed a break. I'm gonna cat torture, break. torture a little black cat who's desperate for treats. Oh, Are you desperate. desperate! We'll have to feed them after. I. We will. We will feed them. After. Birthday cat. Birthday cat is in the hallway. No. So. Uh, Speaking of treats. <laughs> what treat did you did we buy uh, recently? Kit Kats. Yay. Yay. Yum, yum, yum. Um, no, I was going to tell, uh, I think you should tell the story uh -oh. about what happened on the way home from hiking yesterday oh. and the massive coincidence that happened. Well, the coincidence, well, okay, well, we'll basically start with the fact that I had a rough Sunday and today oh. um, because uh, as we went for a nice Saturday, long hike. It was Monday. Monday, yesterday. sorry, I keep thinking yesterday, Sunday. Holiday. Because I don't didn't have my calendar. But um, uh, yeah, we went hiking yesterday, and it was a nice long hike. And ten kilometers. Your your knee was bugging you, so I decided to drive home. I sh put my phone into my Android Auto, plugged it in for navigation. Put the navigation on. Got about I don't know. Not far. Five minutes, <laughs> and then my phone just completely bricked. Like bricked, bricked. Like black screen and we're like oh, no noises was, was the power running out i'm like i don't remember the power being off so then we plugged in your phone got home cannot figure out how to fix it we pretty much tried everything recommended everything. on reddit on google on everything oh, it's definitely dead but it's ah. about a four four or five year old phone oh, 
Uh, not that old. It it, well, it is, but it yeah. should be dead. But but it's had its battery replaced a few times too. So yeah, completely bricked. Um, and then. Uh, God, it's getting hard. You okay? <laughs> it's getting hard. You can't 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 speak. Welcome. Um. No. Anyway, by pure coincidence, a few days ago, or no, that day. No, that. That morning. While, no, while I was talking to you, while you were driving, telling you I won an auction yes. for a phone. Was it while I was it driving? Was while you're driving. Yeah, because we were looking at getting new phones <laughs> That's the anyway. That's coincidence. That's why it's so crazy. He won an eBay auction as my phone died. For a new phone. For a new phone. <laughs> So that should be coming soon, but yeah. still a pain in the butt. <laughs> it was like within minutes of me yes. saying, oh, I won the auction. And then my phone just went. Ugh. It heard. It overheard me saying that. It went, oh, you're buying a new phone, are you? Uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> well, I'm dying right now. I'm going to give it up. Uh, oh, no. Oh. It's so funny. Not funny, but funny, funny. Yeah. Funny in one way. Oh, it aligned God. perfectly, except I I have a couple of days until I get the said new said phone. Um. Oh, so oh, they're sad and oh, crying. Oh, so sad. 1999. Oh, what good what rent. level did I get to? Oh, I don't know. Did you we did pretty to? well. Quite, quite good. Um. So we're gonna play two player. Yes. Which I think we're competing head to head. Yeah. And I'm guessing there's two underlines. You have a few days of absolute peace. Well, kind of. But it's kind of a scary thought that no one can contact you because a lot yeah. of people do contact you text and messaging and apps and yeah. But we, we found an old phone that took a little while to figure out how to get it to work properly. Yeah. So I'm not completely cut off from the world. Okay, press buttons. Two player. So I am yellow. Kicking my ass. Oh. Ah! You're faster than me. I can't see anything right now. <laughs> my eyesight's shot, apparently. Oh no. Ah. Oh, there's no penalties. What are you doing? There's no penalty. Oh. <laughs> but it doesn't help because. It pauses you anyway. Ah. It should like deduct a point if you get it wrong. Ah. You can just see them. I don't know. I just can't see it. Ah! Oh, you got that one. Yeah, I'm not getting many of them though. You're just faster than me. I just can't see them. The reflections or you're just not. No, able to I spot just. Them. <laughs> My eyes. They don't want to. They don't want to focus. Ugh. Yeah, your eyes go googly after a while. They do. It's, it's like, like good for a little while. And then, then it's hard to focus. And sometimes I over. Where are they? Where is it? Oh. <laughs> It's funny, it does go back and forth. It's yeah, like, like, I can see them for a while, and all of a sudden I can't see them either. Yeah, no. She's getting all of them. Oh, I don't know about that. Ah! Oh, I hit the <laughs> wrong one. Sometimes you just get lucky that you're near. That is true. Sometimes I don't know who gets it first. Oh, it's <laughs> down to the, oh my goodness, 90 is a lot. No! It is a lot, yeah. We'll go to 50. And now I've lost it. And sometimes you just lose the plot. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh no! Oh, it's different! Oh, they change after a while. Okay. Oh, no! I don't know what the the amount was, but it did change. That is good. That's good. Oh, 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 my brain. Uh, my brain lost it again. It? There it is. <laughs> 59, 58. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> 
Six it small. is like those magic eyes. It really is because your eyes start going cross-eyed after a bit. I think you're beating me. Oh, you're so close. Two more. Got too far. Two ah. more. Ah. Oh. Oh, oh, it switched. Where? Switch graphics? Yeah, it's switching. Oh. Damn it. Oh, you beat me. On there we go. 50. <laughs> 50. Nice. I like it. Very cute game. I, I think do. this game would be really good for kids. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Especially this mode because it doesn't have a timer. You have as much time as you want. And you just keep going. And you could play this mode single player. And, yeah, and have an unlimited could. amount of time. Yes, you as, could. As opposed to the other one where it, it is a bit of a race. It's not yeah. too bad. I think a um, a kid could, could play the other mode to a certain yeah. point. Yeah. But I think two, you know, brother and sister playing against each yeah. other, I think that would work really well too. Yeah. yeah. Really, really cute really game. Really cute. Uh, great stuff. Um, Leonardo? So, yep. Leonardo Santiago. Mm -hmm. Flip it. So watch for this game. I don't know if he's putting a demo out. I don't think he usually puts demos of his games out, so just watch for it being available for sale. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe he'll put a demo out that's limited by like a couple levels or something. Kids could also slap buttons with the game in a track mode too. Kids are dumb. Yeah. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> click, click, click. I'm winning. I'm yeah. winning. <laughs> Um, so yeah, watch for that. I'm sure he'll post about it in the Atari Age forums. So let's move on to the next game, which is... Unless anyone would like to treat the cats, if you haven't oh, this lost... Oh, would be a very good time to do that. If you haven't lost all your points, um, betting in previous, That's in right. previous rounds. <laughs> Treat it's treat. Atari to his friend. Yay! Thank you, Tell Meow! Or Thank Meow, you. as we like to call you. Tell Meow. Yes. It's treat time! Yay! Are you guys excited? Oh, Is it time really for excited. betting? Time for cat Come betting. On. Cat betting time. So let's reset that to zero. And get up the cat betting. And then the door has to. Okay, Atari, you have to get in the room. And then I'm going to close the door. There you go. So you don't take your treats outside. <laughs> and why would we be lacking points, Bets on Atari, for the end <laughs> time? Thank you. Atari Plus. Ready. It's treat time. Place your bets. Place your bets. There's about a minute and a half left. Why is there no video? <laughs> Why is there no video? Vitogo, as always, I bet. Atari 800. Oh, yeah. Atari, <laughs> happy birthday. Treats for Atari Day. Yeah, treats for Atari Day. Yeah. Yeah, November 15th is officially Atari Day. And how is it going? Oh, 94% for Sprite. I, I'm not entirely <laughs> not, surprised. Not although unexpected. A few people usually come in at the end and That's right, give a few, throw a few points at Atari. Yeah. Atari, I feel good. I well, feel like you have, you you know, it's your birthday six coming up. Six people betting on him. Not much, but they are yeah. betting on him. 250 on oh, Atari for his, for his birthday. birthday. Thank you, Dan. Thank you. And Vitoko always bets Atari 800. And if you're Funny. confused on how to bet, you oh. hit the predict button at the top of the chat. Yes. Right? On the screen. That's right. We can yeah. see it here. And then you put which cat and how much. How much. So if, if, you've, if you're watching the stream for the first time, you might not have that many <laughs> bits. Yeah, you but need... the more you watch, the more bits you get. Actually, you so. don't. I think you only need ten. Yeah, ten is not much. So by now, you would have gotten. Hopefully, 10 if you've watched it for, for any period of time. Even yeah. today, I think you rack up ten. Yeah, you can get one every minute or I something. That's answer. quite a bit. Okay, we got about uh, twenty seconds left. Yeah, on our side at least. Yeah, place Get your down. bets. Get your bets in. How many? Five to eight. Wow. Of course. Eight on Atari. Oh, who bet Atari 2600? Nice. Nine on Atari. <laughs> oh, somebody bet 2600? That's hilarious. Heat the buttons, hit the buttons lots of times. Even the cat can do it. You okay. betcha. Okay, it is over. Oh, it's Kev bet, bet 2600 on oh. Atari. That is clever. Okay, mm -hmm. are you ready, cats? Are you ready? I have the treats. And go. 
Oh, Who is that? Sprite is off to the races. Oh, and Atari ate it. Oh, Sprite, Sprite. won again. I'm going to oh, give you a no. second one because Atari stole it from you. Bad cat. <laughs> Bad cat. Okay. And oh, a Sprite in the lead. 3 Atari, zero. hit the button. Stop stealing treats. I know it's your Harder. birthday. Good you, kitty. I think you deserve all the treats. 4-1 yeah. now. Yeah, he does. Entitled he does cat. Entitled. It's not your birthday yet. Tomorrow. 4-1. Hit the button. Hit the button for your treat. Harder. Harder. Come on. Hit it. Hit it. Harder. No. Oh. <laughs> Sprite. There, there you go. go. Good kitty. Good kitty. There you go. 7-2 to for Sprite. Just destroying the birthday cat. Oh, eight two. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Sorry. Where did it go? Oh, good Atari. You have to give him another one. Yes. There it is. Don't look for it. Come back. Come back. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Oh, oh no, Atari he's searching. You're going to have to get it for him. Good. Good Atari. Oh, good. He's back. And good. it's game point for Sprite. It's oh, nine to four. Oh, my goodness. Oh, come oh, on. Harder. Do it again. Harder. There good. you go. Good kitty. Get a couple more in. Birthday cat, oh. and it's over. Ten, five. The birthday cat. <laughs> I suspect Atari was catnipped. Here's a couple of extra for the birthday cat. There, there you, go. you go. Oh, my kittens. Oh, very poor showing from Atari. Yeah, but sorry, buddy. It's his birthday. He doesn't have to try hard. Sprite, Sprite like, like a, a boss. boss. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah. So let's dole out these points to the Spriters. <laughs> There you go. Prediction result is Sprite. <laughs> Dang it, says you, Super. Atari 800 XL rules bet the most oh. with 5,000 points. Very nice. So they are going to get a quarter of the 2.6. Oh, no, the 6K. So 6K. Good, good game. Yeah. Good game. Well, Easy money. Or er, bites. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that was... That was quite a lot yeah okay atari mostly, next round mostly due to atari stealing one of them oh he shouldn't have wasting stolen it. so much time oh, you wasted atari. so much time atari yeah buddy next time now this guy's searching for, for the treat the random treat that got I have lost no idea where it is you just have to get out of there come on come on he's like i'll find it none of that if it's the last thing i ever do if I have to bite through all your electronics oh, equipment back there. Give it up. I will find that treat. Give it up. Okay, so we're on to the next game. <laughs> the next game is Castle of Devils. Ooh. This is a challenging game. Oh, I okay. I find anyway. Well, Maybe. I'm sure I will if you find it challenging. <laughs> but it's really cool. We use greenies. Yes. They seem to like they them. They like the greenies, and you can get them in ginormous anyway bins yeah. so there you go so castle of devils is by x Batxel. uh it's a 16k game uh he's the person who did geist for oh, the halloween nice. one yeah hi yeah. which was uh you move your ghost around a maze and uh this game is also ghost based ah. as well Gotta love the ghost based games this is the first version of my homebrew game castle of devils a 16k platformer kind of platformer Okay. Yeah, it is a platformer. Okay. Yeah, you just move kind a little of? bit differently than a normal platformer. Okay. If you want to okay. pick up the joystick and yes. start it up. Um, I included for here are the short instructions. The purpose of this game is to successfully go down to today. Uh, successfully traverse all nine rooms of the castle. All nine. Okay. These rooms can be accessed. Castle of Devils. Nice. Very nice. So, oh, oh, and you can see when the lightning goes. You can see a little devil. Oh, oh yeah. And he moves. Nice. Let's see where he is now. Nice. Two spots. There okay. you go. Very nice uh, title screen. Um, oh, that's a bit loud. That's a bit loud. Let me see. That's a bit better. Okay. Uh, the eight rooms on the main hall's lower floor accessible from the beginning. So if you press a button, a little animation going into the castle. Closed up. Okay, this is the main screen where you can access all eight rooms, and you have to finish each of these eight rooms to go to the ninth room. So, so as you move towards them, it shows a door, and you go into the door. You get infinite lives, so you can just hop right in. So I'll, oh. so I'll show you. I'll tell you the basics of how to move, and then okay, we'll continue. Okay, that would on. be helpful. So yes. go in there. So you can move left and right 
up and down as well. If you're touching a platform, you can move onto that platform. Okay. Your other move is to hop. And it's by pressing the button. And okay. you move pretty much the width of the ghost over instantaneously. So if you face to the right and press the button, so you hop. And if you hopped again, you could actually go over and cross over. This cat's never f there. And if you press a button, you fall down. So falling down is fine as long as you land on a platform. Oh. So now you're screwed <laughs> because you're on a platform you can't get out of. Uh, but you have infinite life. So those okay, are the basic I get it. moves. Yeah. Uh, is the harmony the Cadillac of carts? I would say for the 2600, the Harmony Encore is the Cadillac of carts. There's also the Uno cart, which is cheaper, which plays a lot of the games, but does not play the CDF games and CDFJ games. Okay, that cat is relentless. Hey! Psst, 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 psst. Come here. Psst, psst, psst. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to trick him. I'm going to trick him into thinking... He found the tree. Hmm. Oh, look, there it is. Not you. Not you. Sprite. There, look. There, it's right there. There, you found it. Yay, stop digging. <laughs> I don't know if I'll trick him that way. We'll see. <laughs> oh, this is... Oh, completely different room. Uh, yeah, eight, eight rooms are completely different. This one has no enemies, but you have to hop over... Um, these pits, hidden pits. So you have to move very slowly and very carefully. What? You jumped onto a pit. Yeah. See that? Move a little bit more to the left. Slowly. See, that's the pit and you kept jumping on it. Um, each room of the castle is completed by first wow, locating really and operating the black lever that opens the exit door. Next, the player must reach and go through the uh, open exit door. Once a room has... So the objective... Uh, go into that room again. I get it. Okay. That's the lever at the top. You have to touch that lever. Do you see that little at the top. thin thing sticking out? Oh my out? gosh, it's so sensitive. I was able to f f um, oh complete gosh. one level <laughs> in this. How did I didn't you drop play down? Uh, was this the level? This is the level I was able to complete. Oh, I... <laughs> okay. Um, each contains a unique set of traps and obstacles. When entering a room, it can be useful to study it for finding the easiest way to the black lever. Oh, I didn't trick Sprite. He's still looking for it. Because he can smell it, that's why. Oh, see, <laughs> it, it, I, I, I don't know how to move so precise. Huh, I'm falling right off. Pre so precisely. It's, it's so... It's so sensitive. I almost want... I don't know... Uh, where is it, cat? There. Is it under the amplifier? Oh my god, this amplifier is always in the oh. Nope. <sighs> Kitten, I don't know where it is. I don't think it exists. You're just dreaming. You're just dreaming. Oh my god! <laughs> it's it's the preciseness of the movement is is the hardest part. Uh crew neck line says reliving ET hole drama. <laughs> Trauma. There uh, yeah. So you have to be so precise. There you go. I can climb up. How did there I must even have been a hole up? right above. But I didn't. Oh, because I went two stories. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so precise. It's it's like completely <laughs> conceivable to do, but I can't. <laughs> it's brutal. Yeah. I, it, it it's so brutal for that. Uh, upon colliding with a monster or falling out of a room, the players return to the main hall. The number of attempts per game lives is unlimited. The player moves horizontally on a platform by pressing left and right. Climbing up a platform is done by pressing up while touching that platform. Climbing down a platform is, only, is possible only by falling off of it. There is no fall damage. 
Pressing fire triggers an instant short distance leap in the direction the player is facing. This is necessary to bridge the gaps. Oh my god. And to avoid colliding with the stationary or oncoming monsters. Some rooms require precise leaping in order to not fall out of the room. Any interaction with objects, elevators, black levers, collectibles, is done by touching them. I hope you have fun playing this game. By a pixel. I didn't even go up twice. Oh, because you only go up halfway. Yeah, I don't think you should go up all the way on that one. No, uh, it's not going up all the way. It's just, it's uh, oh, unbelievable. Can you hold the button, then move the joystick to jump? Ooh, that's a good question. Hold the button? Yeah, like, oh, I don't know what they're... So it gives you, looks like eight pixels plus, I wouldn't go up, go, oh, no, you do have to go up that platform, but maybe on the left side, all the way to the left, because I think there's a pit right above that, yeah, there you go. Yeah, it looks like you get one extra pixel. Because your ghost is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wide. So that's why you get the extra pixel. Ooh, perfect. You go a little bit to the right and then up and then touch it. Okay, now you have to make it all the way to the right without hitting any of those pits. Slowly. <gasps> oh no, you have to go down. How do you go down? Down and around to the right hand side and go up there. How do I go down? Well, you I can fall. drop? Yeah, you just fall. Oh, that's brutal. Ah, there it is. You're gonna do it. Careful. One more. Yeah! <laughs> wow. Conceivable? My turn. Just just tricky. It's very tricky. Oh, not this one. Uh, which one did I do? Not this one. Throws confetti! Confetti! Woo! This Cat is the one. Cat treats everywhere. Each, each level is so, so different, too. Precise. <laughs> um, precise. Every level's precise. That dot pushes you. Ah. Uh, okay, what was can this? Can you jump and fall? Yes, you can jump and fall. Oh, it's and down you below. You have to jump and fall on some of these. So oh, there. there's the switch. Yep. Oh, but then can you jump to that? Oh, you have to jump on that thing. get all the doors. I think it's randomized because last time oh. that door was the door. Yay! Did it. Did and, and now the door is, um, oops, don't want to go on that one. Um, now that door is closed, see? It doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. And that one is doesn't exist because you finished that one and I finished yeah, that one. Yeah, it's a solid door. Okay, your turn. I kind of cheated because I played that one already. I already knew how to do it. This one looked very hard. This one looks like you have to move at a very specific. So you have to get to the bottom right. How am I going to get back up from the middle, though? You won't. Wow. That's the end. You have to go up and around. Oh, he gets me there. Up and around. Around there, up, then up, then Why across, then down, oh, down, 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 down. Jump across, around, and up. I don't know. This is going to be hard, I think. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Go. Oh. oh, almost. You had the right idea. This might be more of a D-pad game. Uh, Possibly. Maybe. No! Oh, you can't go down. <laughs> no. Only up. Oh, Only up, so left, precise. and right. The concept behind this game is so good. Up. Oh, you did it. 
And this should be easier for you because... What am I doing here? Uh, you have to go up to the left, then jump over to the right. Thinner, so you can get a little bit away with away with a little bit more. There you go. Then fall left, then mm -hmm. fall right. Oh, I'm gonna die here. Okay, now you have to. Mm, I can't time it with I those can't. guys moving and that guy. How do I fall? I have to just, fall to the bottom. Oh, that is painful. Ledge. Oh, don't. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Oh, almost the right timing. Yeah, that's very precise. Oh, so close. This is reminds me so much of 80s games. Those precision movements and precision jumps on those old school platformers. You don't have to jump off that. You can no, just fall. That's, that's fine. <laughs> kind of want to you fall pretty fast. Timed up perfectly every time those guys hit. Oh, so you just go, go right away, I think. So the timing never changes. Yeah, that's probably what you have to do. Let's just go as soon as the, the path is clear. Don't think it's fast enough fall? No. Oh, it's not going to work. How are you going to do it then? Ah, didn't mean to do that. You can't go back down. That's that's <laughs> the thing. It's like once that's you go too far. the trick of this one, this game. I went on a 10k hike on Monday because it was um, oh, a holiday and I just destroyed my legs. <laughs> they your hurt. Knee, your uh, knee well, my knee hand. was bad at the end of the hike. Um, it, it wasn't really a, a hike. It was an inclined walk. <laughs> yeah. But it was 10k, so it was quite long. Um, now, do you have to fall in between those guys and move? I think you might have to. How? Like, fall, go. I don't know if... There? It, yeah. Oh, ma oh, God, that sounds awful. It does. I don't know, because he falls. He takes time to fall. He does. I can try. No. Prowl7 says, says, I know how to do this. Do Tell you? It. Oh, Tell we it. figured it out. <laughs> do you fall in between those two guys? <laughs> Or 10k, that's like two and a half Atari games. Yes, 10k. And my legs were just wrecked after. And today yeah. they're... Better? Uh, much better, but still wrecked. It's uh, slow moving, let's say. Um, but my knee's fine today. I think that was just repetitive motion. I didn't injure it. Didn't permanently injure it. Time it to fall down the middle. But I can't get over to the right-hand side. I have to hit the switch on the right-hand side. So if I fall in the middle... I, I, I get what you're saying, to fall in between the two guys. Yeah. But I just... He takes time to fall, and that's what's so hard to time. Ugh. Oh. I have to almost fall with... with As he's under me? Yeah. Because yeah. I think that might... That might be... No, I've already done that one. Oh, why does it show up? It shows up. You can't go through it, though. Yeah, down the middle. 
I'm going to try for this one. Oh. I know how to do this one. Does he chase you? Oops. Is it this one? No. Which one did I just pick? <laughs> uh, the upper second one? Well, it's just oh, the timing. You might not be wrong, Prowl. Oops. <laughs> That's the problem is if you move... So I believe you have to get that thing a bunch of times before, like that was a gimme, thankfully. Oh, that's tough. Hush, kittens, calm it, calm it. when you're being chased. Ah! Oh, my God. That's going to be hard. Oh, it's so hard. <gasps> Thank you, Charles Wheelands. Subscribe for 31 months. Thank you very wow. much. Wow. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so hard. <laughs> Yeah, I have to say my legs are a little sore from our hike. Oh, I should have waited. Ah! Your legs are sore? Yeah. How hard is that? Ah! You have to go all the way to the bottom. Okay, you come over here. <sighs> Kittens. Kittens. Cat feels bad for you. Kittens. Ah! Kittens! Yeah, blame the cat. <laughs> blame the cat. Always do. Ah! Can you cheese it by hitting the devil at the middle top, causing you to fall onto the door? Devil hits you, you just die. Unfortunately. Come on! Ah! No! Oh. Shall I try with Tanya's? Which one is it? It's this this one. one. Okay. It's just, just the dropping. Ah. It's the timing of the drop. Yeah. Since I'm used to this part now, it's not so bad. Which is good, because you, yeah, you want the hard bad. part to be. Like, you might have to fall as... But I, I, every time I've done it, that's what happens, because the timing is just rough. Could you warp past the devil that was chasing you? Possibly. Have you tried that? To jump past it when it gets really close? Oh... Ah, mm. method. There's some method there. Yeah. That makes sense. It, warping on this one, too. Didn't even think about that. Does that time up well, though? Oh, you have to. You first, go that back was in the and wrong forth. Spot. That might work. <laughs> Well, if it's just too hard, just throw the controller across the room. That <laughs> is what his... controllers are for, for. Isn't that true? Not my BBG controllers. Double <laughs> Not his controllers. No. <laughs> so if you go jump, it's already there. You have to do it at the very last second. And time and be in the right spot, which is like right here. No, it's not. <laughs> to be closer. Oh, my. I don't even think it's, like, right, because the guy's yeah. still there. Ah! Rage reset. Don't you have a vested interest in them in them meeting a new controller, VVG Double Down? <laughs> <laughs> he does. <laughs> He's got conflict of interest. <laughs> Ooh. 
Yeah, you do move very fast in this game. Yeah, you do. So it's really hard to... T Don't know. I'm gonna try it again. I, I went down the right spot. Mm-hmm. Um, but the guy was there, so I don't think that's quite it. Oops. I mean, it's, I think it's the right idea. Oh my god, I'm just running too fast. <laughs> Stop it! And then you go, go across. You don't have to go up, you can just go across. You can be hanging on the edge of that, that platform. Go up a little. Up a little more. Oh, you talking? And about then go to the left. Walk, walk. Go to oh. the left. Oh, I see. Yeah, you don't have to. You don't have to go all the way to the top. That makes a lot easier. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Saves a lot of time. That's great. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna die, but I'm gonna try something. Yeah, you can't you can't jump from that side, no. But if you were at the far edge I though. Move, I could. Yes. If you were at the very far edge. It's just a shame you have to do the whole course just to get back <laughs> up to that side. That's what old school hard's all about. Yes. Old school hard. It's having not enough lives to get to the boss, and then when you finally get to the boss, you do get one hit on him, then you're dead and you have to start the five hour game all over again. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Ah! I think you want to move to the far right. No, I want to go on that. No, I think you want to move to the far right, and when that devil floats over and comes to you, then jump him and then fall, because I think that'll time up properly. Okay. Does that make sense? That jump. Let's see. Just as jump. he hits you, do you see the guy moves. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't fall immediately. Fall a little uh, yeah. bit after. Fall and and get and then jump. Yeah, I, that's not gonna be easy to do, but. No, in principle, yes. Yeah. No in easy practice. checkpoint flags. Exactly. No reboots. Oh, jump and then fall. Oh, I was too far ahead. I just fell. Yeah, yeah I would. I would go to, uh, go f over to the right. Yeah. And then jump him and then fall and see if yeah. that works. Again, easier said than done. This is quite an interesting. Very good levels though. Very. I like the hard levels. levels. What did I hit? I think you were just a little. S yeah, I hit the guy late, moving back maybe? and forth. Yeah. Hi. No. Ah. Hi, kitty. You here for moral support? Yeah, he's like, you can do it. I believe in you. Getting really good at that part, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's how you get good at things. I don't know why that I jumped too work. early, I think. Maybe. Yeah. So those guys move fast. That. I like how the noise he makes is dependent on how high he is up the screen. Yeah. Doodly -doodly -doodly. Very cute. Makes it easy to program if that works out well. Okay. Yes! <gasps> that's how you do it! That's what I said. Yeah, we didn't know till then, though. Yeah, but that was my suggestion. I've not been able to do it myself, but... Uh... open okay now we got to go all the way around again uh, do you no you don't yeah no you can go up go up jump over can you fall yeah yeah you can you only have to get to that third level jump across just don't go all the way up don't get hit by the devil from the top or oh do you know what i'm saying oh i do know what you are saying that yeah that's a clever move <laughs> no! Just don't fall on the devil! No, I forgot! Okay. 
We know now. We know. <laughs> we know better. Just, yeah, we could, but we, yeah, just, you know. This is a tough level for level one. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it's not in order of hardness. They, they are not. But, uh. Ugh. Ugh. No! And I love how the doors put you on platforms that if you push too far, you immediately fall, fall to your death. <laughs> there are quite a few levels like that. Yeah. Insta-death levels. Tanya is mansplaining. Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, no, I hit him. Close. You're very close. Tanya splaining. Tanya splaining. Exactly. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Faster. Yeah, good job. Okay, Thank but you, you don't go too far. You're gonna die. Oh my god. That was very close. Okay, now I'll go down when he's not there. How about that? There. Oh gosh. <gasps> what did what did I do? He did nothing. I hit him. We all saw this. He did nothing. You didn't hit anything. I I hit. I hit the guy. How? No, you didn't. I must have. I don't think you did. I think I hit the guy that was going back and forth. No, I don't think you did. You weren't that far, 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 far over. <sighs> ah! <laughs> Let's go to the replay. <laughs> yeah. What hit me? No, stop it. This poor ghost. Yeah, he's taking a beating. What are you doing over there, Atari? I don't know what Atari's doing over He's there. He's sniffing. He thinks there's there, treats. There is a treat there. Sprite is somewhere. Up. Sprite is like I he's couldn't done. Find it. Yeah. Those cat noses are finding it. Yeah, uh, the cat noses are very, very powerful instruments of smell. Yes, they are. Hi. What are you up to? I can see on the uh, camera you're up to no good over there. <laughs> what are you doing? There's nothing there. There are no treats there, sweetie. It's just a. It's just a printer. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, jump. You have to use the jump function. Oh, you can't jump off a platform. No? No. That's wrong. That's wrong. You get pushed back. But as long as I... Don't die? Don't push. <gasps> See, oh, that's no good. You can't fall. No. Uh, oh, no, you can't. Can't fall off the other side. It's the same length. <laughs> Almost. Can Luck you? Luckily, can you, you can't fall. Oh. As long as you don't keep pushing, you're fine. You won't die. But you have to time it. <laughs> if you're slightly off, can you jump? Can you go to it, jump? To jump? It, or would you hit the? As long as you hit the the white thing, it pushes you up and pushes you to the middle of it. Oh. Oh. Down! <laughs> uh. <gasps> yeah! yeah! Confetti! Okay. Next. Oh, me? Okay. What haven't we done yet? You set it up, I'll knock it down. <laughs> what was that one? I haven't done that one. Oh, this one. This one's uh, interesting. Have you done this one? I, I've played a tiny bit. So it moves? Time it to move at the right time. And you have to press the button. Like, turn to the left and press the button when it goes white. Then turn to the right, press button. Oh. And then you have to memorize from there, and that's all I've figured out. <laughs> hmm. Oh, you fell down. Yeah. Oh, I, I, you're way too early. Right? You're dead. Oh, it's left, right, top, and then jump, jump. The thing is, it right. won't show you the right hand side till you're there. Hmm. Thank you, nostalgic. What? 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 You just had a good game. Ugh. When it's white. Yeah. Have you done this one? I've 
just played the beginning of it. I just... <laughs> just practiced a tiny bit just to see what the game was like. And I was like, okay, this is a good game. Hard as hell, but good. Oh my as soon goodness. as it turns white. As soon as it turns white. Don't slam it. There you go. You made it halfway to the switch. <laughs> oh my goodness. Fall off it. There you go. Oh, oh! no! You're, you're fine! I didn't know what... I. You know what? You oh, almost need to pause and see what it is. You were fine and you could have stayed right there. Oh, do you fall to the bottom? Where do you have to go to after that? Because you were that? hanging on to that But thing. where do you have to go to after that? I don't that? know. I've never seen well, it. Well, then then that's what I mean. Until you know the pattern, it's Well, that's, that's why I said just stay there. You were hanging on to that top right, which does not disappear. You didn't need to do it. What happened? Uh, warp onto it. Sometimes it uh, doesn't show. Ugh. <laughs> classic Tanya. <laughs> what did she do that was classic? Oh, you did it! Oh no! You somehow got your head on it. That's funny. That's a fall there. That's I okay. Didn't get the switch. I did, didn't I? No, you didn't touch I just it. I thought I smacked it twice. Nope, you didn't yeah. touch the switch. Oh, too soon. Too, too soon. soon. to the right there stay right there don't move does so it start touched... cycle um yeah i think it does so you mm. can memorize that so there right down left left how do i get oh i have to get back over drop left okay right down Left. Oh, God, this is messing me up already. <laughs> <sighs> oh. Hmm. Then drop, and then oh, left. Oh, wait, you can drop. Oh, you can't drop in there. I was like, just drop down. You can't go down. Drop to the left. Yeah, yes. It doesn't matter. Hmm. Oh. oh, good. At least it shows you. God, I'm going to mess this up. <laughs> Don't mess up. This is the end. Go. One, push, push, two, push. One, two, boom, three. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Quick, quick, quick. Yeah! Woo! That's so stressful. <laughs> <laughs> That's so stressful. Okay, done, done. Uh, that not one isn't done. not done. Oh, what is this one? Oh, it's a nightmare. I'm going to try a different one. Yeah, that I'll do that one. So I'll try that one after. Hard. What's this one? Oh, this one's so hard. This is like Jumpman Jr. Looks easy now, doesn't it? Oh, my God. go up oh yeah oh oh my god how hard <laughs> how hard is that it's just a constant oh move. there's the there's the switch okay i have to get the switch first he's guarding it you can oh go up god. can't you no 
I'm gonna have to fall into up? that switch. No. Where do we get that switch? You have to go up, up, up. You have to, you have to make your way all the way across. I think. My goodness. This one's an action level. <laughs> Bullets no. suck, yes. Oh, have a good night, Carl G. Good night, Carl Thank G. Thank you for joining us. Ah. No. Oh, no. This one is patterns. Oh, yeah. This... Okay, I'm going to give this one another go, even though I'm not going to I think, I think... Because you can go up. Once you hit that level, you can move up on the on the scale. True. So I think I think that's the key is jump and then go up and then drop down. Oh, oh you can't just go run. down. Run across. Right. And it just you, yeah. That guy on the left though is pain in the butt. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's brutal. You wanna, no, you I, wanna, oh. I can't. You He's there fall. immediately. No, you want to go straight across. There, up, cross. No, not jumping. No jumping. There, up, cross, jump. That's oh, what I mean. jump across that? Yeah. Awesome. Then what? <laughs> He's right there. Ah! Oh, no. He follows me exactly. I don't even... You have to get behind him somehow. But he... Ah. He only shoots once, so I think he shoots on the lower level, and then you move to the higher level? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't thought it through. <laughs> yeah, you have to do that middle part very quickly. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you do have to go up to the top and fall off the top. Oh, you got it. <laughs> but you got it. You do have to go all that's, the way to the top. That makes sense. It's the only way to get around him. So is Cruella in the Castle of Devils? Maybe. It is all black and... Maybe there's 101 Dalmatians at the top. That's right. Guarded by devils. Oh, devils. I don't see myself finishing this one. No, this one's hard. <laughs> Because you can't move down, so you're stuck. Oh, did that one. Uh, let's just take a look at the other ones. Oh my goodness. This one it is... very random. It is a pattern. So no, if you, it's not. Oh my god. Yeah, it is. Yeah, no. Uh, it's a pattern. Oh, stop it! Didn't mean to fall. Not that one. Oops, I have to fall off it. If you wait till it goes, and then... And then move through it to the safe zone. <laughs> so I jump. Oh, now how do I... You have to get up, 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 up. But he goes one, two, three, so you have to do that very quick. I fell too far. Oops. It's not even counting. I think you can only go down. Oops. Maybe? You have to go... Down, down to the and left, and up, 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 and then, then down. Jump, then hit it, yeah. That sucks. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know he was there. <laughs> didn't know he was all the way to the right. Yeah, he does. He goes on both sides. Okay, that's fine then. Looks impossible. Looks impossible. Not. Yeah. There. Now you have to go down, down. So all I have to do is touch it. Get back to the middle, maybe. Ooh. Oh, the door's oh, he's on the on left. All three of them. Yeah, he does. One, two, three. So you have to go one, two, three, middle. Yeah. Okay. 
Oh, or I fall didn't off. Warp. <laughs> I didn't warp. I had to warp. That's okay. Cheap shot. It's not there. Warp turn. Warp. Yeah. Turn warp. Okay. Oh. They have to go he very got fast. You. Yeah, he got very you. Very fast. Oh. Ah, too far. Pretty fast. Yeah. To the left, to the left. Oh. Oh, no, no. Because I want to get on that. Yeah, ladder. but I don't know if you were going to make it. No, I wasn't. <laughs> the timing you're, is different. You're, you're, yeah, you don't have many options. I think it's almost easier to go to the left oh, and, then and then go back, back around. Up. Yes. Because yeah. that, think you're that's absolutely right. Uh, There's not enough time. Because you were waiting, and I'm like, oh, I, I don't think you can wait on that. Nope. I not I think I can do this one. Yeah, I think so. I think so. It's like that other one, which is pain in the pain in the butt, but right on the edge. Yeah. <laughs> Fortunately, once you're there, as long as you end up in a safe spot, yeah. You're and you can wait it out. Ma! <laughs> oh, this black kitten, you're so sweet. <laughs> you're for emotional emotional support animal. He's very irritated that I'm petting him. <laughs> I can tell he's. I am irritated of your love. Uh, yeah, I'm not enjoying it. I do not wish your love right now. Oh my God. You're getting frustrated. Really, really, I, I, I know. This, Once you start, you can't stop. This level is doable. That's yeah. the thing. <laughs> very, very doable. It's just, it's because it's not, it's just timing. I pressed it. I pressed it. I went in the right direction. I pressed it. <laughs> Old school hard. There's no... Oh, you get to respawn right where you died. No, no, you start from the beginning again. Right from the beginning. Uh. There you go, you're safe. Uh. Close enough? Yeah. Watch out. It's funny, because he is at... He's on different spots for different lengths of time. Oh, it goes all the way up and down now. Oh, that's much better. Yeah, so you just need to drop into the middle. Okay, so... Can I drop? Yes, I think I can drop into I the middle. I think so. <gasps> oh! Does he go to the top, right? No, he doesn't. I think you have to... Jump. And that one's close enough. You can't jump off this. You just fall off. But you have to do very precise. Actually, don't because any part of you touching it yeah. is fine. Now just remember. I think you're. Oh to no! The bottom. I, I have to go boom, 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 boom. You have to go down to the bottom. Okay. So you have to go boom, boom, oh, boom, you're boom. I'm safe on those small dots, though. He does go one, two. Oh yeah, you are safe on the small dots. <gasps> <laughs> oh no it's okay this is a hard one pay attention to the cat but not too much attention no! <laughs> not too much attention <laughs> oh no, sister i'll be like yeah that's how the cat works i love you until i do not love you anymore good job did i touch it yeah mm-hmm Oh yeah, because the uh, thing's going up all the way. Okay. 
seeing the devil bounce around to different <laughs> platforms reminds me of the lights on the Press Your Luck game board. Oh, now I can't yeah. unsee it. It's so true. It's funny. Oh, I love that game show. It's my the favorite show. The animations made it. Favorite show as a child. Yep, I watched that so much. Oh, I loved it. It was it was a I'm sick and home from school. <laughs> Press your luck time. Like treat. Oh, he's at the bottom. <gasps> oh, you have to jump. You have to down down. There. Yeah! <laughs> yes. Okay. All right, what's left? Is there any ones that, one. that we haven't I haven't really done this one? What is that there? Oh, it oh, moves. It moves. Hmm. Okay, where's the thing? It's on the right. Oh, so I should get to the. Uh, <laughs> I should get to the right hand side as quick as possible. There we go. Oh, he's mean. Very mean. Does he go consecutively? No. Oh. I could have warped over. I don't know if he's random or what. Ah! I don't know what I could have done there. Oh, the door moved. Oh, the door appeared. Is this like, just like, go for it and hope you make it? You know what? Thing? Wait. The, oh, that's, I forgot you could do that. What? Oh. You went right through me. Yeah, I did. That was weird. If you that's wait a, at, at each of the up and down points, you just wait to see where oh, he shows up, right? Yeah. And then you fall. <gasps> oh, oh not jump. Could have fall. But that's okay. But where's the door now? It didn't appear this time. I don't know. Do you what didn't hit it? Did, did you hit it? I did. Oh, I tried. <laughs> Wasn't expecting him, but yeah, I should wait till I see him. And then you can move up. Don't move up. Wait to move up until you see him. Yeah. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, come on! I did he that awesome move. He goes where you move. just were, I think. Oh, no, he doesn't exactly. That. It's somewhat random. <gasps> oh. That was... That was unlucky. So cheap. I think I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to power through it. Run, run. Jump to the middle. Oh, <laughs> where is it though? Where was it before? It just appeared in the bottom right. That's bizarre. Now it's not appearing, even though I flicked the switch. Did I do it wrong? No whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. No whammies. Gosh, that show was Look, so good. I flipped, it, I flicked it, and there's nothing to do. Maybe it's. Oops. That's. I don't, know. I don't know what's going on with this level. Yeah. That feels broken, doesn't it? A little bit. Like, shouldn't... I'm just messing up. But, um... Shouldn't it appear? Like, yeah, I agree with you, but you said you saw it before. It did. It appeared on the bottom right. Maybe I have to... Drop? Ah! Go do something? Like, go, go up to, to the, the other side? Top left? Ah! Uh, Pressed it too early. That's weird, but it showed up last time, right? Oh yeah, hundred percent. Hmm. Oof, that was close. Yeah, that guy just randomly is going. I mean, you can avoid him by being clever on. Jump to now. Jump over. Oh. Oh, there it is. It appeared at the last second while at I was the very dying. Left. At the very left. Yeah. So maybe, so maybe is it different every time? Maybe Do you have, have to, to guess to where bottom? you think it is? Have to go back to the bottom? Maybe. <gasps> Jump! Oh! <laughs> it's not too hard to get to the top. No, it's very easy to get to the top. Very Just odd. like, door? Can I have a door? Anywhere, please? Just try it, I guess. Uh, oh, no. Oh! There it is! What, do you have to... Oh, you have to go to the bottom for it to be? Do you have to die? <laughs> no. That's super weird. Oops. Maybe it's... Maybe there's a mistake. Maybe it's supposed to be showing up. Uh, the author did a full run through of the game. Yeah. On the forum, so he, this version, I'm guessing, because oh. he hasn't put out a new one. 
so it is conceivably all doable. Maybe I just need to go to the bottom. Ooh. Ooh, that's too far. You have to get to that drop? No? Mm. I just don't want to fall too far. One, next one? No. Mm. A little bit higher would be good. Because it takes a while to drop. But where is it? I don't know. Oh! You I found accidentally it. found it. You have it. to find it accidentally. Oh, you have to be on the level it's on. And that's why when I die, it appears because I'm on all oh. levels. Yeah. And nostalgic uh, said it just. Oh, did he? This is, yeah. Maybe oh. it's proximity. It only shows when you get close. I think you might be right there. Okay. I think we're done. Except with this for game. One. No, I mean this. Oh, are we all done? No, there's oh one more. Oh my God. There's, there's just one. one more? This one. Oh, well, we have to do it then. Are you sure there's only one? Yep. That's the only door that's not done, closed. Done. O open. Oh, no. There's, close. Open. There's two open. Oh, two. Okay. Oh. This one's a nightmare. Because you don't even know... I don't even know how many you have to do. Can I try? Yep. Which one is this? This is the... Right-hand one. That's the one where you have to... <laughs> you, can't, you can try and warp past him but he immediately turns. So you do have like a millisecond to work oh, past right. him yeah. if you want to try that move. Oh. You have to move too, immediately. Yeah, well, I thought I was, but clearly I was not. Oh. <laughs> the, t the, the spacing of the warp is... <laughs> oh, oh, you can walk into it. Why do I keep trying to warp to it? I don't know. What? Tried to run into no, him. No, no. No, no. Wait till he approaches oh, you. Stop doing it. <laughs> oh, this is, it's it's the control takes you have to quite a bit of time. Figure to... out the turn warp turn nope, warp to go enough. up the level. I'm gonna oh, stop it. It's moving when I want it to warp and that's all me. Nope. Yeah, he has to be right on you. Right on you. Oh, well, that was a gimme. He moves faster sometimes too. His, up, his up movement and down, he is moves not. Fast. Just... Left and right, he doesn't move fast. Oh no, he does. He's randomy. Oh, I I don't think you can do it. No, nah, it's too hard. Oh, even that space. No, like the spacing is the problem. Is. There's definitely a trick to this dude. It's leading him away and then going boop, 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 up the ladder. No, can't do it. He's hard. <laughs> bye bye. Turn warp, turn warp, turn warp, turn warp to do the ladder. Yeah, I know. I haven't quite figured that out yet. And up. Up, turn, warp, up, turn, warp. Oh, this is so hard. Even just the, the, the warping up the ladder is, is, is so precise. I, yeah. I don't know how you do it You just it have to be at the edge because... The, the edge is the exact distance of the warp. Oh, you ran over it. How you missed I, it. How? You're like moving up as you went over it. <laughs> he has to be right on top of you. Okay, we have to move on. Yep. Because we have two more games. <laughs> Amazingly enough. Do we have two more games? We do. Oh, I almost got past him, too. Okay, two more games. Two more games. It is getting long. Okay, time for game number three, yeah. uh, Jutland Sky. So if you would like to um, start that up. 
already. First one? Uh, yes, he made two of them. Jetland bird. Jetland and uh, do the bird one. Okay. So Jetland Sky by Ooh. Mirsad Saralika, uh, Kiki PDPH. Uh, this is an exclusive work in progress update. So thank you so much, Mirsad. This is from, uh, I believe it's today's build. 32K game. It's a shooter, so you can just start it right away. Uh, did you play this last time? I think you did. It looks familiar. I don't think I did a very good job of it. So you have to, when you get a ship, you have to pull down to get your targeting. Um, planes, you're doing fine. Pull down. Pull down. Just pull down? Oh, there. For okay. your targeting, and then press fire. Okay, that's right. There you go. And if you don't shoot enough planes, I don't know what you're doing there. Just pulling down. Oh. I'm getting confused. Yeah. Oh, he got me. So we do have infinite lives, so. Oh, bye, nostalgic. Ugh. So planes are on the ground. I know. No I understand <laughs> how it works. No, you don't. Clear light. <laughs> Just not shooting fast enough. Okay, first stage of the game you could say is complete. Has been sent to the official tester named Heraldo for testing. The game is mostly compri composed of the wishes of the people of the forum and Facebook groups. Seems that most people gave advice for the game to be similar to games like 1942 and River Raid. So the game is a classic shooter, but I don't think the game will be bad. Now, that you, c now you can see what the first part of the game looks like. In the game, an energy bar has been added. You can see it on the right there which is replenished when you hit an enemy. Enemies on the water replace the enemy energy bar twice as much as the enemies in the air. Shooting sounds of enemy bullets have been added. Enemy planes now change direction sometimes, even when they don't reach the end of the screen. Uh, the main enemy of the ah, first stage... Oh my god, red, they're so fast! Main enemy of the first stage, Red Baron, has been done, and it's the last thing that has been done so far. This is um, an update on November 5th, so I have newer ones. For those who have been following previous posts, you cannot collide with enemies on the water. No. You can collide with other planes. When you shoot at airborne enemies, you press the fire button. When you shoot or bomb targets on the water, you pull the joystick back. And a targeted reticle appears for you to aim at the enemy you want to bomb. If you have a sensitive joystick when shooting at targets oh. in the air, push the short joystick slightly forward to avoid accidental activation of bombing. November 6th, in a message to me, he says, now the boss is positioned five oh. pixels higher, and the interval uh, between the first and second shots is longer. It has two time firing. It only circulates within a programming loop. And oh I said that gosh. because the Red Baron was very close to you, and you had it was so hard to hit him. It was so, so hard. I wouldn't bother trying to hit the uh, submarines. When they're close? At Sometimes all. they're so close. At all. Sometimes. Well, it depends. If they're right in front of you. you then do it. But other than that, I, they're so deadly. They are. Super, super deadly. <gasps> Um, November 9th, I uh, posted in the Atari Age forums, I'm currently working on the stage where tanks and zeppelins are involved. The boss, Red Baron, has been modified to be a bit easier to defeat. November 13th, and a message to me, if you want, here's the new game update. I've shortened the energy bar and made it deplete more quickly. I've added airships and tanks along with some other changes. As I said, it, it was way too easy to keep Oh! The, way too easy to keep the energy bar up. Ah! Because I could make it all the way to the boss God. without dying um, with the energy bar. And I thought, oh, that's that's too uh, oh that's too easy. There's no lives? Or do I just have no, a lot is, of lives? This version Infinite? has no lives. Good. This version. Because <laughs> I would have died a lot of times so far. Yeah, this version has no lives. Because, oh, my gosh. Because it's a tester version. Yeah, it's pretty cool, though. It looks awesome. And today, in a message to me, here are the two files. One is oh! came from behind one has birds in the sky as you can see up there very nice birds <laughs> now there's a slight parallax effect when the plane moves left and right and we'll take a look at that one after and you can <laughs> and then i'll explain why i didn't choose that one. Oh my god dodging the bullets is is quite hard it's easier than before he was like way closer it's his is his diagonal bullets they seem to move yep. so fast. Ah! Oh, stop hitting down. That's not useful. No, it's not. Ugh. You're going to completely miss him. Yeah. Oh. Got him. <laughs> Got him a couple of times, just not enough. 
His energy bar is at the top. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's very hard, but very cool. It looks really good. Dan says, nice graphics. Oh. I agree. And the birds add a lot to it. I almost got him halfway down. Dodge that one. He's very good at dodging. Oh, God, goodness. You can do it. Look at him. Look at him dodging. <laughs> He's quite the dodger. He's the Red Baron. He's an expert pilot. He can outmaneuver Snoopy, can outmaneuver you. Oh! Very wide angle. He does have a wide angle. Oh. Right into right it. Right into him. Say about three more shots. Oh, gosh. I don't think you'd survive in a real game. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't think you'd even make it to him. I don't think I made oh, it right past... right into it. I don't think I made it past the first level. without dying at least three times. So there is a pattern to his shot. Yeah, there is. It's a straight, then an angle. A straight, then an angle. So you want to shoot after the angle. So you don't know where that one's going to go. Oh! It's very fast, too. There you go. Oh! Oh! oh he goes shoot, shoot, and if you could get him in the window after he's shot twice. One more shot. Oh. Too late. Too late. We dodged that one. He's very Shouldn't good at dodging. Late. I'm actually angling my shots unintentionally. Because it's I'm I'm leaning in to the to the controller, so it's sending my shots in the direction I'm going. Uh, what? Your shots always go straight. No, they don't. What? Yeah, they do. Are they? Yes. I He's guess I'm moving, over. so I, it looks like I'm. I'm it's shooting. all relative. I understand. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Finally! First level finished. Pretty sure he shot. Ah! Now you have tanks and zeppelins to deal with. <laughs> oh, I, I, I'm, I'm only getting through this. Oh, tanks! There we go. This is cool. I don't think they had the tanks and the zeppelins that when we shot played it last. That shot curved. Oh my god. Yeah. No, no. The last time we didn't have the tanks or the zeppelins. Oh, we got them. Oh. What? what is with that curved they're, missile? They're heat-seeking missiles by the looks of it. What? I think that's a mistake. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah. He didn't say anything about heat-seeking missiles. Look at that! How can you even dodge that? It goes right after you. I don't, I don't think this level progresses at all. I think it just stays, unless the ground's going to move up in the background. Yeah, yeah that curved. <laughs> 100% yep. heat-seeking missile. Oh my goodness. It's hard to get under them. Okay, my turn. Reset. See if I can make it to the boss without dying. With, with my three lives, I mean. Oh, there's no reset. Oh. Turn off and on, please. Ready. And I'll show you the parallax. I'll play with it. Okay. That you can see why it's not quite... I like the parallax, mm. but it's not right. You're not even looking. The parallax. Oh, this parallax, you mean? Yes. Sorry, I was reading the chat. See the sun and moves? That, yeah. The sun should not move unless the land's moving. Like, the sun is the furthest thing away. Oh, the cloud should be moving, the sun not. Yes, if anything. It's like when you're traveling in a car and you're at night and you're watching the moon 
when you're traveling in a straight line, the move, moon does not seem to move at all. It's following you, but everything else does because the moon is the furthest thing away. So you have to well, move things that are closer to you. The horizon and the clouds than, should be moving, but the sun should be staying. Yes. Or if you want place. the sun to move, you have to move the land. And well, that's what boats. I mean. The land, I think, needs to move, too. Yeah. Like, shift to the left and right. Yeah. Yeah. Which but I want it cool. to. But it's cool. Yeah. Yeah, it, it doesn't quite feel right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I want the birds and the clouds to move oh, and yeah. the sun. I want it all, yeah. all in one, which but it can think, be done. I think it's it's like just testing out that concept, right? Yeah. Yeah. He just needs to um, find a way to make the land move. No, I shouldn't have gone for that ship. I knew it. It's impossible at this stage. Cat Ball Arena says, I wonder if the creative at Batari Basic passed the project over to someone else or just stopped one day. Is there no updates to Batari Basic? I thought there was. Oh, no, I haven't been mm. following it. Ah, such an angle. The life already. No! Don't don't mess with the subs. Their shots are angled so you can't you just can't get away from them. No. Unless they're right in front of you when they appear. Like, like there. Yeah. Then, then you have then to you can get them. It's better to shoot them because yeah. they're gonna kill you. Oh my god! Now I'm down to zero lives. Damn it. I'll say I'll say this is my last life then. Okay. I've used them all up, don't you, me? See if I can make it to the boss. Almost there. Almost there. It looks great, though. Yes. I have to say, I really Gorgeous. like the progression of getting closer and closer to your target. So over the water, then over the land. Oh, yeah. Then the boss, then the zeppelins. It's really looking good. Yeah. No, 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 no. And I'm... Excuse my yawning. There we go. There we go. Long day. Um. No, no, don't shoot me. Oh, I thought that sub was going to get me for sure. Yeah. Well, you... I was cornered. You're dead, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't died. I mean, oh my god. Now I'm going to die. Oh, good job. Good job. Shooters are my jam. Ah, uh, I'm dead. Let's see how many lives it takes for me to kill this guy. That's one. Definitely fewer than, than, than me. Definitely. You're dying more than you're shooting. I know. I was like, what's going on? That's why I'm not a member of the armed forces. <laughs> <laughs> one life. Just have to not, uh, gotcha. not die so much oh, on the I first gotcha. level. Oh, I gotcha. I got the little gray cat, huh? Oh, so cute. Hi. Are you purring? Oh, I didn't Aww. think you'd purr. I thought you'd struggle. It's his birthday. Birthday it's cat. It's birthday cat. Yeah. Almost at midnight. Happy, happy birthday, Atari. Good kitty. Yeah, you're a good kitty. I know you're just being cuddly because you think you're going to get treats. <laughs> but that's okay. Is that the, you're still a good is that kitty. Is the scheme? Uh, pretty much is every cat's. Mm, being cute for food. Cute I'm for cute food. for food. That's their tactic. And it works exceedingly well. Doesn't it? It does. Yes, it does. Yes, it oh, does. Oh, the heat-seeking missiles. Oh, you're okay. So very, very good game. Um, the only thing I would say is the heat-seeking missiles yeah. on part two. Yeah. I think the difficulty is right. Yeah. Because I was able to make it to the boss with three lives yeah. and kill the boss with one life. And I just made some bad mistakes through the first level, mm. but um, I think the difficulty is is quite quite good. Hi, you're very very cuddly. Oh, and he's right so now. cute. Yeah. Okay, next and last oh, final oh, game oh, of the night. Ready. Exciting. It's Duello by Nathaniel. NVL G Gun 1996. Uh, he also made Beast and Cave Rescue. Nice. And this is from November 6th. It is a 2K game. Mm. Super, super tiny. Yes. Yes, I'm playing it. Or loading it at least. Hi. Oh, hi. 
Yes. Cute. Yes, you're cute. <laughs> yes. It's all about the cat. Yeah, I can't let go of him. He's just purring in my arms. Okay, right now. duello. You're gonna have to take this one. So I will talk about it first. Oh. Then, story. You're a rebel soldier. Uh, you question the sergeant and refuse to attack a peaceful city <gasps> in enemy territory. Oh. Good for you. Outraged by his attitude, he invites you to an armored duel in which there is no way to refuse. <gasps> oh. Controls. Move your armored vehicle left and right. Button performs the shot. Goal, hit your rival before he hits you, which won't be easy since he has an armored vehicle superior to his own, to your own, uh, capable of creating hurdles and shooting a powerful laser. Ooh. So that's you on the bottom. Oh my goodness. And I believe he also has a shield. And when you shoot, you can't move <gasps> until it hits really? something. Really? Oh, it's all about timing then, this game. And avoiding. Ugh. Waiting till he shoots. Ugh. You get 50 for each thing you hit. True. It's not terrible. I'm gonna die. Oh my god. I'm guessing that's his shield. Ah. Oh, oh I got he hit. got you. Yeah. You just continue on, it looks like. Oh, I got oh, me Oh, I just. Damn it. Nope. What's that white thing? I think it's an extra shield for him and it follows you so you can't just sit you can't camp yeah Yay. so like if i go there i'm just camping it just doesn't do anything you can't shoot through it good job a bit better it's all about timing nice. this one this is a 2K game, so really tiny. Really? Ah, uh, Duello by NVL. Okay. There you go. Your turn, 3,500. Made it to the third guy. <gasps> not couch compliant. No. Somebody trigger the not couch compliant. Ah. I don't know if I can do it. I think I can. Your game is Your not game couch is compliant. Not compliant. You have 20 <laughs> seconds to comply. <laughs> there we go. Not couch compliant. Made me get up from my seat. Oh, you already got shot? Yeah, you got shot once. Did I? Yeah. Oh down goodness. to two lives it needs i think it also needs like some buzzer or something like when you get shot like d d d d or something because you can't really tell oh you got it just uh, just before. before he killed me <laughs> yeah good timing oh my gosh he's a double laser this time bzz, bzz. then a long pause so each boss has a different uh pattern which is really good Is it duello or dulo? Well, the roots would be in English anyway. Duo. Duolo. Duolo? I think it sounds better duello. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? Oh, I'm terrible. Duello? Du duel. Duel. Duolo? I like duello. Duello. Duel. Duel? Duolo. Duolo is Sound probably correct, but duello sounds nicer. It does. Okay. 2800? I don't know oh, what that was I got. Very good. What did I get? Ah! Not couch compliant. <laughs> it's going to trigger it again, but I can't because there's Duolo. a timeout. Duolo. Duolo, Duolo would be more accurate, nice. but Duolo got sounds hit. actually sounds like an ice cream treat to oh, me. Hit twice. A Duolo. Would you like a Duolo? Mm. Mm, yes. A Duolo, okay. <laughs> yes, I would like a Duolo. <laughs> Wow, 550. Good job. It's really pathetic. <laughs> I'm going again. Uh, now I want I want a drum stick ice cream. <gasps> Come on. Good yes. job. Yes. Oh, this one's sparse. Got him. Couch compliance will cost you another 2K, <laughs> says uh, Gamma Dev. Another 2K. <laughs> no, it's very cheap, if I remember correctly. Oh, we got you. Damn it, twice. Oh, good job. You get lots of points for the boss, but a little bit for the... Yeah, well, What's you have pattern? to... One, two, and then long pause. Uh, Just one. 
It seems random with what you get, because I ended up with like that hard double one right away. Oh, I got him, but you I got him. died yeah, right 40, after. Who's the author? NVL? Yeah. Uh, Nathaniel. Oh, yeah. ah, ah, ah. There we go. Nathaniel Vasconcelos. Vasconcelos? Liteo. Liteo? That's the uh, author. On Atari age, he's NVL Gun 1996. You can extrapolate how old he is from that. <laughs> he was born in 1996. You still looking for that treat? I, I think it's gone forever. I think you found it. That's Portuguese. Oh, okay. shoot. There you go. It's, <sighs> it's really good for a 2K game. Like, really good. Uh, the graphics are good. Ah, what am I doing? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That was terrible. My timing, my brain was just One all... One more go for me. No. It's reset, right? Yeah. Kay. Reset to reset. Oh, well, sometimes you have to repower it back up. Sometimes. That's usually when it's... It uh, is random, and I kind of like that. You can oh, have a is. really hard first level. What is random? It is. And then you don't know if you're going to get a hardship, an easy background, a weird timing... Usually like making two spots. It's a solid game. It's a really fun, like very solid. Good, good gameplay. Yes, very good gameplay. Very good concept. And and, and variety level to level too with the different back like different uh, fields you have to punch your way through and and the um, shield that the guy has as well. The, the shield variety of shots doesn't. Oh, right off the bat. The shield doesn't do a lot, but maybe it moves faster in some of the levels. Oh, if it, it moved might faster, increase. it would... Nice. Might increase in speed, yeah. He's increasing in speed, I think. Well, I think it depends on the level a little. Nice. Oh, oh kicking butt. The, the uh. two in a row is hard. Because you get cornered. You get cornered by it. Best score yet. There we go. Good job. All right. Um, excellent for 2K. Fantastic. It's going to be a good contender uh, for the Atari Homebrew Awards, I think. Yeah. There's a lot of 4K games, though. This is this is a, this is a fun game. If yeah, we had a 2K really category, I think this would mop the floor. Mop with, it, yeah. I, I don't know if there's any two, other 2K games. No. Um, I'll have to check. Uh, very good game. That is uh, available in the Atari Age forums. Excellent. Um, I really do want to see if there's any other 2K games right now. No. Yeah. Let's see. How can you score 5,200 on a 2,600 game? That. What are the odds? That is true. So let's take a look and see how many 2K games there are. No, not 32. I have to put a bracket. Duello. One. <laughs> there's one 2K game. Wow. And it's a damn good and one. And that's from this past year. Uh, yeah, in 2023. Wow. So if you look at the 4K games... Quite a few 4Ks. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and that's in completed. 8, 9, and uh, 2 more in physical. Yeah. And work in progress. Yeah, quite a 10, few. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20... 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Oh, tons of 4Ks. Lots of 4Ks. There'll be so, lots to choose from. For... Duello would clean up in a 2K game. Because <laughs> there's only one. Um, so let's see what's coming up on the show. Yeah, what is coming up on the show? Um, I think I might do Atari ST to Jaguar conversion spotlight on Friday. Okay. Um, because the Atari ST and Jaguar share commonalities mm -hmm. between them, and a lot of games are ported over from the Atari ST to the Jaguar. To the Jaguar. So I want to take a look at a couple. There are tons of them. Just tons and tons of them. He's chewing his toenails. Yeah. Um, and then uh, next Tuesday, probably we're going to be playing some Atari 8-bit games with Tanya. Marbled and Ridiculous Re Reality. I kept pushing that one, but it's a very fun puzzle game oh i, I like, the like puzzle games 
Uh, then on the 23rd, which I think is a Thursday, we're going to start uh, playing through the Jaguar games. Uh, Atari Jaguar's 30th anniversary classic gaming countdown. Nice. Yes. Um, so we'll be spreading that over three days. I don't know when the second day or third day are, okay. but they will. Evolution Dino Dudes, best game. Oh, okay. Of the originals. Okay. We don't know which date that'll fall on. We'll have to see. Remember what Euros put out, Kev? <laughs> um, then coming up, let's see what else. Atari Age Day 2023 will be nearest the end of November. Mm -hmm. It's going to be on a Saturday. No, not really. It was terrible. Okay. Well, are we, we're are we're we going to make it by the end of November? Because you've got shows right to like the 28th there. Huh? Like, like. Oh, it's it. The are you going to be able to date? fit it in between now and the end of November? Well, that's on a Saturday. Oh, it is. So, so you know what date it doesn't is. interfere. Oh, okay, okay. So that's either like, going to be mm. on the twenty fifth, which is in a week and a half, mm. or on December second. It might be the first week of first Saturday of December. Okay, it's possible as well. Most Jaguar games are terrible with Double Down. There's a lot of good new ones. Um, I think there's some good old ones, but we'll find out, won't we? Hopefully they're all kind of arcadey. I know there are some strategy games that we're going to have to like, just kind of look at just and not quickly play go much. Through. Yeah. It's like great graphics and we Yay, play graphics one turn of yeah. the strategy. Yeah. But any true Atari fan must own one, especially now mm -hmm. because there's some great, uh, homebrew coming out. Um, then the Atari homebrew special, and I've already added one into there. Last stand Halloween. And you're like, Halloween? Yeah. On the holiday homebrew special. Yes, it starts on Halloween. But then it goes through some other holidays. Oh, I see. So there we go. Okay, very nice. Uh, four player special. We're going to be playing four player uh, games, and this connector that I made will allow us to very do nice. that. Very nice. We're going to be playing four player light gun game only 50 50 games 90 percent will shovel shovelware yeah. yeah that's how it happens just has a very small amount of games so it just seems that there's a lot more shovelware yeah you Ooh. think 2600 has five had 450 or 550 games so there's going to be a lot of decent ones and a lot of bad ones mm -hmm. but we found out it was mostly pretty good pretty decent 2600 games well, holiday, uh, Halloween is a holiday, yes. Yes, it is the uh, holiday. This is the uh, Pre December holiday. Winter holiday. Winter homebrew. holiday. Yeah. Well, I should put a winter holiday. Yeah, <laughs> winter holiday homebrew. Not special. just holiday. Yeah. Um, and then we, in the beginning of the new year, we're ramping up the sixth annual Atari Homebrew Awards, collecting all the um, committee, the, uh, what the hell did I call them? Nomination committee. <laughs> Nomination committee members. Uh, we're almost getting up to the numbers we need. Oh, good. But we they, need more members? Is that what you're... No, I'm not soliciting. There's oh. a lot of people who haven't responded yet. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. Um, but we're getting almost enough. And um, they... Because they have till the end of December to start mm. to say yes. And then they start uh, whittling them down nice. to the top six. Nice. The best in each category. And they actually divided out the Atari 8-bit categories into work in progress now. Mm. Not work in progress. Uh, ports and originals. Because Atari 8-bit has a ton of releases. Almost as many as 2,600, if not more. Wow. So let's just look at the Atari 8-bit. Like, oh, Wow. Like, look how many there are. Tons. Yeah, tons. Wow. Cool. I think I can do a search, and it'll tell me how many. 112, approximately. So over 100. Wow. Yeah, so that's highlighting all the Atari 8. Of course, there's more down below. So around, around 100. Wow, that's and a if lot. If we go to the 2600s, uh, if I do K and then close bracket, no, it'll miss all the ports. If I do open and bracket. And K, K in bracket, it picks up, which are not necessary. Oh, if I do, no, no. Oh, oh yeah. my God. No, see, that's not going to work. No, I can't count them. No. That quickly. Yeah. Anyway, there are lots. <laughs> lots and lots. About the same, maybe even a bit less. Mm -hmm. It's hard to say. Hard to say. 
Wow. It's a anyway, lot of homebrews. There's a lot of homebrews being made, and I can track them all cool. of them. And uh, then on February 24th is the 6th Annual Atari Homebrew Awards presentation. Nice. So that is the big event of the year for the homebrew homebrew games. Um, yeah, that's it for tonight. Very well, Thank you for sticking around with seemed us. It seemed like long, but it wasn't actually that long. Well, when do we start? It's 8.30. We start about 20 I after. think because we spent so much time on game one number two, specific. the devil game. Yeah, we got them all uh, done except for one. Yeah, yeah. Then you have to two. beat the devil. One, two. Two. We didn't do two. Yes. And then there's the final door. Yes. Which we didn't get well, to we see. Well, le we're leaving it for people to play themselves, so that's, that's all good. True. That's um, true. Uh, but yeah, thank you for joining us yes. today. Thank you, Dan. It was a lot of fun. I like all the games were excellent that we oh, played. All yeah. of them. Oh, really yeah, Really yeah, wonderful yeah. games. Uh, I have to do the poll. Yeah. And oh. so if you stuck around to the end, you get to vote get to in the poll. Get to participate in the poll. Uh, Which is what up. game you liked best. Or what game you want to play, what or, game yeah, you want to check you're out. Or most, yeah, most interested in might be the better. Because you yes. can like all of them. Yes. But you might have one that you're, you you're play gravitating first. towards. You might want to play it. So. Okay, so let me set this up. Move that over. So there was Flippets. If you remember back two and a half hours ago. Uh, Castle of Devils. Jutland, Skies, and Duello. Yeah. And there we go. Start the poll. So, uh, Flippets was the first game, a uh, 4K game, uh, where you have to hunt down the Flippets. Yeah. Because they're hiding. They flipped around. Next one, Castle of Devils, a uh, platformer. Uh, very, very uh, difficult, but not impossible. We've stuck with it, and we defeated... Most of the doors. Six out of eight. Okay. Uh, Jetland Skies, the sh uh, shooter. Mm -hmm. um, three quarter view, 3D perspective shooter. And uh, Duello. Yeah. I agree with Charles. They all look great. I think they all have, sli they're slightly different types of games and they all have different things going for them. Yes. Um, what? Yeah. So to, what it appeal, <sighs> it, each one would appeal uh, differently to different. Differently. Different people, I think. Yep, and Duello, the this kind of space shooter. I really want to finish Castle of Devils, so I think oh that's God. where I feel inclined to keep playing right that's now. That's what I would play next, too, because um, I'm like, oh, I really want to finish those last levels and see the final boss. And Duello, I really want to play, because we played just such a short amount of time, and I think that would be fun. Flippets was great, yep. um, and Jetland Sky is also great, and I'm it's really looking yet, forward though. to that being a done game, like yeah. a completed game. More levels. So they're too. all really excellent games. Kim's calm, calm, yeah. calm. But I am just going to go for two because okay. I want to finish it. It's the one I want to play next again yes. because it's unfinished. Yeah. So let's see what people voted on. It is two, 50%. Two, three, close Jetland behind. Skies, yeah. 33%. Duello with 16%. There you there go. go. That was... Um, Sprite, Sprite losing his mind. Losing his little cat mind. Yeah. Yeah. He's, yeah. <laughs> He can still hear him meowing. He's now staring at ceiling at the ceiling in the hallway, going meow, meow, meow. <laughs> He's meowing at the no seums. Yeah, what do you see out there? Yeah, Sprite did just leap frog Atari, and Atari's just <laughs> Check like the replay. Uh, oh, I'm an old cat. man now. Oh. I'm an old cat. <laughs> I'm an old cat. Technically a senior. Not an old cat. I I see him more like a middle aged cat, to yeah. be honest. He's not quite old, but he's not quite like <laughs> ancient. He's he, not slow. He, he runs around the house. He's not slow. Though. He's got lots of energy. He just he's just very conservative about when he uses it. So yeah, I I I empathize with it, with Atari. Eight is the new two. Exactly. That's exactly. Right. Uh, so thanks for tuning in today. Uh, Double down. Dan MC, Vitoko, Charles Whelan, uh, Gamma Dev. Uh, it's Kev. See you on Saturday. Uh, Vitoko, Catball Arena, Beef Supreme, Nostalgic. Carl G. Oh, and Vitoko, Vitoko. who won, won his uh, coaster. Yeah. Vitoko's I'll, fancy Vitoko's, coaster. I will Yeah. send that off to you. I'll get your address off air. Uh, <laughs> Prow 7, Ivory Tower Collections, Mr. Zarna Whoop. Hello. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Shua TV or Mrs. Hua TV. Don't know. 
or some other pronunciation. Yeah. <laughs> um, who else? Reddit Ghost? Pro7? I think I've said those names, but why not again? Who else? I know there's another name in here. Nope, not in the scroll back. Rare Parrot? Hmm. Uh, so that's the end of the show. We'll be back on Friday with Erlen, and uh, we'll be playing some more games, possibly Jaguar games. Nice. We don't know. Nice. That might be pushed. We'll see. We'll see what pops up. I can change my mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we will uh, see you on Friday. Have yeah. a good night. Have a good week. Bye-bye, everyone.